Welcome to Roche Village, the site of Village Life's feeding program. When teachers here identified hunger as the top obstacle to learning, Village Life partnered with them to implement this program, which now feeds 1,200 children each day. The children receive a meal called Uji, which is a corn-based porridge. And since implementation in July of 2008, we have seen test scores jump 25%, attendance rates increase 30%, and the school has now received the number one ranking in the region. For a small donation of $50, you can feed six children every day for an entire year. So a little bit of funding can go a long way, and we need your help. The main objectives of the Education Committee are to work with the villages in Tanzania to overcome their barriers to education. And that's different in every village we work in. In the village of Baroche, what we found is that their biggest need was the students there did not have anything to eat during the day. They'd walk to school in the morning, uh, go through school all day, they'd have a lunch break, but most of them either live too far away or even if they walked home, wouldn't have any food. The Uji program was implemented of July of 2008 and Uji feeds 1,200 kids a day, 400 at each of the three schools. We design programs that we can participate in them with the villagers in a partnership. That we don't just use our expertise to come in and provide a solution for them, we partner with them to teach them to provide the solution for themselves. My objective on this brigade is to collect as much data as I can so we can get some good results to show this program is working, it is good, it's helping to decrease the prevalence of malnutrition among the school children in the village of Roche. Is it true that many of the students don't go home for lunch? Is that right, that many of them stay here at school and aren't able to go home and eat lunch during the day? Yes, that is true. Because the, because of the distance. Sixteen of women work together to prepare the uji every day in terms of fetching the water, mixing it with the corn flour and sugar. I think a feeling that the villagers get is a feeling that they can be self-sustaining and that they make they prepare all the uji and they're giving it to the children. This is the procedure. She wants to put water here to see the, the level. First they wash, make it clean, then they take the good water. They wait till boil, then there is a flour which they, they put in. This is two kilo, two kilo. The one process takes almost one half. This batch that we're making right now will feed how many kids? 100. So about how many batches a day do they make? Four. Four batches. Four batches. Mm -hmm. Students in the school here, mm -hmm. they are about five, 520. Yeah. But this only makes about 400. Only four. So have more kids come to the exactly. school because of the Uji? Exactly. So now you need to make more. One more winger, and I will never get my bears at my duty, Jenny. Get to Joe Gilanwagini, no, 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 Rather than provide a hand out, we try and provide a hand up. $1,000 is the cost to fund the Uji program each month. That money is used to purchase corn flour and the sugar. It also helped to purchase the utensils that they used to prepare the Uji and the cups that they distribute the Uji in. They are so happy. <laughs> One teacher told me that it is the stomach that feeds the brain. The question these children ask themselves every day is not what they're going to eat, but if they're going to eat. Please support our feeding program one of the many initiatives of Village Life Outreach Project.